Good morning, YouTube. This is Jess with Sourceful Journey back with another video. Um, I actually wanted to come on here and do a quick video and just title it, Answer the Call. Uh, the reason why I say this is because of the fact that uh, I, for one, have been avoiding the call for the longest. I've been feeling so compelled to put up videos sharing my story, especially when taking this spiritual journey and becoming more aware of self. And it's been hitting me heavy. The more I avoid it, the more it's been knocking at my door. 33 as I said that. Um, and this is my way of doing so. I'm actually going to go ahead and take this leap and give you guys uh, like a bit of history in terms of my own backstory. So yes, um, it's one thing that is really critical is that we truly take heed to the message and just answer the call, whatever it may be in our own lives. So here I go. I'll go ahead and share my story. Yes, so um, answer the call. Now the reason why I'm doing this video right now is because um, you know, again, it's been weighing on me pretty heavy. So I can tell you the number of times where I actually recorded, deleted, recorded, deleted another video over and over and over. Um, and you know, the reasons for why I did it was just so so minute. So it was like, oh, maybe I wasn't wearing uh, the appropriate makeup. Maybe it wasn't the appropriate lighting, or um, you know, maybe the message was too long. Um, and just making up so many different excuses that were really just pointless, um, pointless excuses. Now, what's interesting is because as doing so, saw 44 and just a moment ago, um, I realized that a lot of the other people that I follow, they don't even worry about nearly as half of that stuff. And it's evident when you actually look at their videos. So with that being said, with that being said, that is why I'm choosing to take this step and answering my call at this point. Um, you know, a lot of the videos I do watch, I notice that a lot of the um, individuals that record the videos, they are in their most natural form, meaning right, not caring about the makeup, not caring about how their hair look, um, not caring if they have their children hanging off of them. But yet, the message is being understood. That's the part. As long as the message is being understood, that's all we should truly care about. Um, so I say all that to say that's where I stand, 33 as I said that. Um, that's all I care about at this point is as long as the message is understood and is reaching the appropriate people that need to hear it as well. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just jump right into the video here. There are so many things I've noticed on this journey so far that I've encountered, not only from the various signs, synchronicities, the visions, and being able, oh my gosh, the visions, being able to see certain things take place or take form prior to it actually doing so. Um, not only that, but at the same time, um, you know, you become more spiritually inclined where you start to notice what's real and what isn't, especially with a lot of uh, what's being put out there in terms of the media. You know, you kind of have a stronger sense of knowing, like what to dedicate your energy to and what to not dedicate your energy to. Um, it, it's been uh, an interesting ride, but at the same time, um, it's been a, a learning process within itself. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that's encountering this, but uh, yeah, it's a beautiful thing when you're able to differentiate between what's real and what isn't, and to really dedicate your energy to what is truly important. And not only that, but um, also when it comes to uh, one's uh, love life, I guess you could say in terms of who they're um, I guess you could say that the term is what, like soulmate, uh, per kingdom spouse is another term I've been hearing a lot lately. Um, then, you know, there's the whole thing with the twin flame aspect. You know, there's so many videos online about that for you guys, so I won't bore you with my definition of it. But uh, there is there is a difference. Um, but yeah, definitely is so much going on in that aspect, and I am a part of that journey as well. Uh, so... <sighs> Yeah, and that alone is interesting within itself because you'll find yourself uh, sometimes in a predicament where you're drawn to an individual that you haven't even crossed paths with in this lifetime. And that ties into a lot of the visions and things that you have uh, that you've seen as well, which we'll talk more about that in another video. It's really, really interesting. Yes, and so that is that on this video. Um, definitely wanted to thank you guys for taking a quick look at it. I will be posting more videos here as time progresses onward. I'm actually going to do a video also in reference to uh, my experience with the 
manifestation side of things. Um, you know, a lot of us who came from more of a Christian or even Catholic, religious-based background, whichever um, area you may be in. I know for me, I came from a Christian-based background, so we often use the phrase, claim it and receive it. Um, <laughs> I remember my mother used to say that all the time. Um, but it's just like uh, declaring it and it's done type of mindset. And uh, with manifestation, it's something that truly does work. Um, and I'll share my story in terms of how I was able to get into my dream space and uh, being by the water, which was a part of my, my vision board. So we'll definitely talk about that in another video as well. Okay, and so that's it for this video. Um, definitely send me nothing but love and light you guys way. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, some of you guys have gotten really clever, really creative, and found my other channels, which is great. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of responses in terms of my Instagram. Um, I do also have a TikTok. I'm not active on TikTok, really, but I might start getting more active there. Um, and then I also do have a Snapchat as well. I'm going to try to start getting active there as well. But uh, for right now, um, the, uh, the primary places you guys could really reach me and get a response will be uh, Instagram as well as here on YouTube. So um, I do respond back, so don't worry about that. Uh, but yeah, again, sending nothing but love and light your way. And I'm wishing you guys a great one. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.